Hi, my name is Rusty King. I'm produce manager at Public Store number 527 in Gainesville, and we're here uh, demonstrating our ozonator. And here we uh, show an example of uh, what we call finger foods that are a lot of times eaten by hand, and uh, some of these uh, fruits and vegetables come from third world countries, and they're laden with bacteria. And uh, we put them through this uh, process to purify and get rid of the uh, bacteria. Hi, my name is Tyrone Moffitt, the assistant produce manager at store 527 here in Gainesville. Next to me is my part-time cut bar associate, Andrew Free. Today, we're here, Andrew is taking cantaloupes out of the box that haven't been washed yet, and is fixing them to put in, in the machine in a bread-like tray. The reason for this is the cantaloupe haven't been washed yet. As evident, on the cantaloupe, there's a heavy residue of bacteria. What's important about this bacteria that's very dangerous to what we do as far as our cut fruit program is when you cut the melon, the bacteria can latch onto the knife and then contaminate the cup. This has now been finished. Andrew goes ahead and opens up the lid. As you can see, the cantaloupe has now been completely clean and the bacteria has been washed off. Another, another, another procedure that we use is the trimming of our, of our leaf lettuce. Andrew has taken a case of that's come in and as you can tell, the leaves have been damaged, wilted a little bit and deteriorating where it's turning brown. And Andrew's trimming the butt and loading the machine with the butts up. Andrew is now washing off any excess dirt off the romaine by using the spray nozzle which is located on the side of the machine. Okay. okay. As Andrew starts the process, the first part of the process is is rehydration of the romaine, in which case the water is at 99 degrees and rehydrates rehydrate by giving it heat, moisture. The second part of the two